Two instances in recent weeks have made news regarding child sexual predators in the Portland metro area. One story that broke on September 6th was of an ongoing investigation by the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office and the Portland Police Bureau into Milwaukee Police Sergeant John Foreman in relation to CSA exploitation material. Foreman, who was hired by Milwaukee Police Department in 2001, a detective in 2006, and then promoted to sergeant in 2009, was placed on administrative leave on June 24th, according to the Department of Public Safety Standards and Training. No court documents have yet been filed against Foreman. Milwaukee is a suburb in the southern Portland metro in Clackamas County and home to just over 21,000 people, according to the 2020 census. Another case involving a St. Helens cheer coach who was arrested on September 6th for CSA. 27-year-old Anthony Trankler was arrested following a three-week investigation, and authorities believe that there still may be more victims that have not come forward. He was lured to McMichael Street in St. Helens on September 6th, where he was apprehended. Trankler is currently facing two counts of CSA in the first degree and four counts of attempted CSA in the first degree. He appeared in court on September 9th, where he pled not guilty, and a preliminary hearing was expected to be held on September 16th, though no further updates have been given as of writing. The investigation began on August 13th when Trankler was reported while working at Vault Elite, which teaches competitive cheer and tumbling to children 3 to 17 years of age, where he has coached for 15 years and is the only male amongst the three coaches on staff. Police were sketchy on the details, but stated that more victims were located and a search warrant was issued with additional evidence being seized, though it is unknown what the evidence contains, and I think I speak for everyone when I say I think we'd rather be left in the dark on that. According to the report, between January 1st and August 13th of 2024, Trankler was accused of inappropriately touching three children under the age of 14 and attempting to get them to reciprocate. It's unclear where each of the alleged incidents happened. However, Ashley Wynn, whose daughter owns the youth center, believes some of the abuses did take place in a storage loft above the gym floor. Allegedly, the gym has procedures in place to prevent this from happening, including requiring staff to have completed background checks, as well as cameras positioned around the gym. Supposedly, the upstairs loft is now closed, and there is soon to be a light system installed in the bathroom to show when it is occupied. There is also a gym policy to never allow coaches to be alone with a student unless during a team practice. The gym has also canceled classes and camps on August 15th, but they resumed on September 9th. Vault Elite issued a statement on Facebook acknowledging the allegations stating that Trankler has since been terminated, though not in the way we'd like him to be. Since the allegations have been made public, three-quarters of the students have been removed by their parents out of concern for their safety, and the owner has received major community backlash. Investigators believe that there could be more victims who have yet to come forward and are asking those potential individuals to come forward by contacting the St. Helens Police Department at 503-397-1521. If you or someone you know have experienced sexual assault and needs support, help is available. You can contact the Sexual Assault Resource Center at 503-626-9100. They are also located at 4900 Southwest Griffith Drive, Suite 135 in Beaverton, Oregon. If you are a victim of John Foreman, please contact the Milwaukee Police Department at 503-786-7400 or the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office at 503-655-8211 and or the Portland Police Bureau at 503-823-3333. I'd like to end this video off as I always do in situations like this by reiterating the hatred and vile allegations similar to these stories presented tonight that are often used and made against the gay and trans community by media and by religious and political zealots looking to further their fame or advance in their careers. 
In both of these men's cases presented tonight, they are not gay, they are not trans. They are cisgender, white, straight men, one of whom was a police officer for 23 years and a detective for 18. The other was a cheer coach for young children. These men worked with the public, they worked with children, and they were entrusted by their communities. Yet when some of these members of these communities see a trans person, they immediately want to shelter their children, believing us to be predators, when statistically we are more likely to be victims of SA, whether as children or as adults. We are also statistically more likely to be a victim of violent hate crimes, yet somehow we are the problem. No, it's time for people to learn to wake up and understand that the real danger are the cisgender white men in your community. Your policeman next door, the cheerful pastor down the street, even that nice old man on Elm Street who is always being nice and saying hi to the kids. Any one of them could be a monster. I'm not saying that the trans community doesn't have a few bad apples, and we call them out when we see them. I personally will report on them myself. But as you can see, my reports have included way more cis white men who have committed these crimes more than they have included trans individuals. Maybe it's time for some perspective. Trans people aren't here to indoctrinate or groom your children. We are ensuring that the children have educational and informational resources in order for them to grow up and live their best lives. And we are just trying to live our own lives as we see fit. Unless, of course, it has nothing to do with thinking of or protecting the children, and more to do with bigotry, hatred, fear of what you don't understand with a lack of willingness to learn, and the desire to exert authoritarian control with traditional values over the masses. Maybe that's more on the nose. Feeling called out yet? I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. If you are a victim of CSA and or exploitation, or you think someone might be a victim of CSA, exploitation, or human trafficking, there are no words in any language that I can express the sorrow I have for what you have had to go through. And even after everything you have survived, you may still be dealing with the pain of harassment, stigma, and bullying. It's going to take even more strength, bravery, courage, suffering, time, and effort in order to get the peace, justice, and healing you so rightfully deserve. No one can help you ensure you receive this and support you through this difficult time than a trusted family member, friend, mentors, counselors, etc. They usually know what to do and can get you the help that you deserve. Do not listen to those telling you to keep silent, including yourself. You deserve justice, peace, relief, and satisfaction of having your voices heard, your stories told, and your abusers punished. I wish you all the best, and I will always be here if you need someone to talk to, a shoulder to cry on, and someone who can help fight for you. It doesn't matter your age, gender identity, or sexual orientation, what religion you are, or what background you come from. We all deserve to be at peace and not have to live in fear. While others may have let you down in the past, betrayed your sense of trust, or exploited you, know that I will not sensationalize your suffering for clicks. I will not ask, nor do I ever do this for money. I do this out of the goodness of my heart because I wish that this hellish world we live in be a slightly brighter place to live. You've already been through hell, so in the words of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, there is nothing left to fear, but fear itself. For more information, please contact your local authorities or the FBI to report abuse or contact the Rape Abuse Incest National Network at RAIN.org or contact their National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE. That's 1-800-656-4673. They are available 24-7, and it is a free-to-use 